See, when you do windows, you look like uh, Tony Montana. Yeah, enjoy your vacation. I like the Tony Montana. Say hello to my little friend. The air sander? Except I, no, no, I'm talking about your face being white. Like oh. You stuck your face in a big old <clears throat> pile of, you know what. Say it. Let's stand, stand up. up. <clears throat> yeah, let's stand up. <clears throat> Don't get the wrong idea. People understand what I do. Corky. Yeah. Come over here real quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the post we made about the car? How much they cost? Ten bucks, right? Well, yeah, for you. Most, ten. no, most customers think they're only ten or fifty bucks. And take two like weeks to build the whole thing. <laughs> if if not, we if we take our time. Not quite that long. One week. Yeah. One week. One week. Yeah, one week. <clears throat> oh, wait a second here. I have a call. This is my uh, number one call you of the get, day. You get spam. <laughs> number one call of the day? All right, so we're out here to talk about the cost of a car, Troy. More than I'm gonna spend on a car. Well, me too. But I can't afford it. You can't. <laughs> That's the problem. <clears throat> um, Street cars are more important. Well, when we made the post about selling Justin's Nova, <clears throat> and just to clarify, I do wanna say, <clears throat> a lot of people on there got on Justin about selling a Nova yeah, and backing no. out. Nobody knows the <clears throat> whole story. It's Just to all... clarify without getting into detail, <clears throat> me and Justin, huh? It changes daily. <clears throat> well, me and Justin talked about it before he did it. Yes. So, Justin... For quite a while. Yeah, Justin decided he needed to... It wasn't to... an instant decision. This was <clears throat> a week or two in the <clears throat> making. No, Justin decided he thought it would be better for him to run NPK Season 5 and focus on that instead of putting a bunch of money into a new car right now. And then trying to go through the new car blues with a new car again. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly what he did last year for the first few races. Yeah. He did finally figure it out, but it cost him the first few races to get there. Yeah. So this year, he won a few rounds this weekend. Yeah, he did good. So. They got some changes they're gonna make and they're gonna go back out there. But I just wanna clarify, cause a lot of people jumped on Justin. Yeah. For backing out of the deal. And honestly, Justin wouldn't have backed out of the deal if me and him didn't talk about it first. It's not like he just backed out. We had like 600 people message us about buying a car. Uh, some serious, and I guess everyone was probably serious. Uh, some more realistic about what these builds cost. And that's what made me come up with this video. Uh, I guess just because this is what I do every day, uh, I, I guess I just have a better understanding of what they cost. Yeah. And most people that have never really priced it, I didn't think about it, but they just don't really know what it costs and what it takes. No, because there's a lot more to it than what a lot of people even think about. I mean, above and beyond just the, the labor to put the tubing together, cut and notch and fit and weld. Yeah. I mean, you'll have three or four days just welding it together once it's all <clears throat> Done. put together. Oh, yeah. So that being said, if Danny does the windows, that's an extra 70 hours of labor at yeah. least. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think it's a good subject. And we got a lot of answers all over the place. I think someone commented and said it was about a $35,000 car. Done. And I asked them where to send the check because I'll buy a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would definitely um, <laughs> entertain that. $35,000? Someone said, or they said $35,000 to $50,000, I think one person said it. So you eat the other $130,000. <clears throat> yeah, at least. <laughs> nice. So this car is clay cole's car we talked about in the post we talked about what would justin's lexus cost or a car similar to that cost yeah. obviously a steel roof and quarters car we've talked about in the videos is more work than a fiberglass car it is a lot more work because you have to fabricate all your window receiver lips you have to prepare the body itself it's not just like our carbon bodies that just they come in you cut the windows open, the lip's already there. You basically build the car under it, mount the body, and it's it's ready to go. Which, I make it sound easy, it's a big job too, but you don't have the added work yeah. that comes with preparing a steel body for Lexan windows and all the rest of it. Yeah, hundreds of hours more work yes. to do a steel body than it is to do a carbon body. So, that being said, these cars take roughly 1,200 hours to build. I, I don't keep super, super good track because honestly, I don't want to know. I like building cars. It could be 15. It could be 1,500. I think Justin's was closer to 1,500 just 
with some changes and, and the body being different, but a regular steel roof and quarter car, like Justin's, if we had everything and that got changed, I think about 1200, right at 1200, give or take. <clears throat> so. Well, as time goes on, we're gonna spend a little more time trying to figure that out a little more exactly. But as it goes right now, yeah, Cameron pretty much doesn't want to know what, <laughs> how long it takes to build these cars. We just want to get them out the door. And it ranges. It's not going to be within one hour. They're going to range. Trip. I mean, there's some bodies that are going to be more of a struggle, trip. more projects that'll be more of a struggle. And sometimes a customer will add more things that are going to take a little more time too. Absolutely. Like a standard chassis compared to something that's a little bit different. Right. Offbeat. Plus every car we build, we're trying to make improvements you know we've changed the winter net kit we've changed a few things with safety in a funny car Absolutely. cage we've changed j just a few small things but the way we i would bodies. hope that every single car we build gets better uh, and that's the goal you know with justin running a car he runs it hard we've learned a lot from that yes uh, and hopefully we learn something from every single car we build and and we can build on that but with that being said 1200 hours of labor Put you at right about ninety-five thousand ish in in labor is is what we charge. And that's just <clears throat> for labor, yeah. just labor, which is really There's our no parts. Our shop rate is more than that, but on the big jobs we don't get. You know, it's it's more it's it's less per hour, but per lot of hours. So right, that's basically what we go off of. And it does add up. Oh, it adds up. Yeah. Oh, I mean it. You get there quick. So. That being said, with these cars, there's a lot of options. You can do a car with $35,000 in parts, or you could do a car with $100,000 in parts. Easily. You know, you could add the titanium firewall, you could have steel, steel firewall. Uh, struts could be 2,000 or they could be 8,000. Yeah. Um, so that, that all changes. This car is Clay Cole's car. It has pretty much identical stuff to Justin's. Same Mensker struts, same Mensker rears, uh, carbon brakes, the same titanium package, and all that. So this car, with all the titanium uh, painted body, powder coated, reassembled, with his motor sitting in it that he supplied, his training sitting in it that he supplied, uh, us building headers, and ready for wiring and plumbing. How much in parts? About 80-ish in 80 parts. 80 to 90 for sure. Roughly in parts. So we're gonna say 80 just because we gotta kinda nail a number for the post. Yep. And we gotta have yep. a winner. So we got 90 and 80. 95. And 80. 95 and 80. 95 and 175. And You're gonna you have about paint it, 10 at least in paint for a good for paint job. A nice paint job. That's that's all the body work, all the paint, airbrushed, right around 10. You could spend 15 or 20 if you wanted to, but we're gonna go with 10 so just for $185,000 for a car similar to the Lexus rolling. Who guessed 185000 <clears throat> first i'm gonna have to that's look. the part that you're gonna hate like <laughs> so i didn't expect that many comments so I know. <laughs> i'm I gonna know. have to go through that post and i will announce the winner in the next video because i know multiple people commented that many people but i'm gonna have to find the first one that commented it. so i'll be busy all night tonight <laughs> going through uh going through the comments so you won't be working again tonight well no i'll work tonight and then you got third shift this firewall i know it's almost there it's looking good too. <laughs> I'm just saying that because you're the boss. Oh yeah, I try. And I'm not doing it. Yeah, I like it. I that like makes it. it look even better. Yeah, right? right? So 185,000 is the answer. Now from there, there's a million combos. If, yeah. if you guys want to know what a turnkey car costs. It can go up and down from there. We're just yeah. trying to come up with a solid number so that we can hand out a t-shirt. Yeah, the average car, probably competitive, brand new car turnkey is probably right around 400,000. That's motor, tranny, converter, wire and plumbing. Wired plumb. Ready to go to the track. That's and that's that's what I think a lot of people that watch maybe don't realize not, how much money people have to put in these cars to actually be competitive. At this level. It, yeah, at this level, yeah. You can obviously build and the best part run different is stuff. The car really is a small part of the entire program because absolutely. now you got your stacker. Yep. You got your toter home. Yep. You got your expenses, fuel food oh yeah crew lodging you got a crew airplane tickets you know, travel are you gas these guys or are they coming on their own dime because they love you yeah that's you know oh yeah it adds up quick then you gotta have spare parts some of these guys got spare trannies spare motors times, spare heads yep. cranks they got everything it adds up fast oh yeah yep so anyways i just wanted to touch on that because i think it's a good a good subject 
just based off all the answers we got posting a Nova for sale yeah. and seeing what people thought they could buy the car for. After these three cars, we have uh, obviously, you know, um, Mark Witch's car, Clay's car, and Monza's car, which I can't show you, he'll have to show you that. After these three cars are done, we have some smaller projects that are getting wrapped up and we have the Nova on a jig and then we're gonna slow down on cars and really focus on parts. Uh, I don't know if anyone caught a glimpse of it, but we bought two CNC machines for the shop so we're gonna really start doing a lot of new parts and we're and still gonna be building cars. We're gonna build cars, but a lot less cars. Right. We're gonna we're gonna start doing more parts. We're gonna take the stress off a little bit. Yeah. The cars are awesome. I love cars. We'll never stop. Never building stop cars. building cars, but we are gonna slow down on cars. We're gonna pick maybe two or three we're cars not a year. We're gonna try to build. build three cars in a year. That's a lot. It's stressful. In this case, three cars in three months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We started on these cars. Well, really, we started on these two cars in December ish. Yeah. So yeah. It's quick it's a lot for us and and the thing is a lot of people don't see is we do sell a lot of parts so uh eddie for the most part is usually welding parts or shipping parts and corky shipping parts and there's a lot of other yeah. there's a whole other side that that we keep you'll eddie see. chained to the bench over by the welder <laughs> yeah we give him you know some burritos here and there yeah. and he's good to go Jeez. <laughs> ah, yeah that's brutal yeah that's rough we might cut but it's out. true well yeah, but you don't want them to think it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it is. But, all right. Well, I'll make sure and look at the Facebook and find out who the winner is and make sure I get a shirt to you guys, whoever won. Not sure who won. What? Maybe it's someone local. Maybe, maybe it's... You come by and check check out the... Uh... Troy, maybe you could go through all comments tonight. Yeah. You got anything to do? No. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you some I burritos. all kinds to do. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, uh... We'll post the winner in the next video. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff. All that stuff. Because it helps us out. It We're does. trying to grow bigger. We just hit 30,000. On Facebook, yeah. On Thir Facebook. We're almost at 32 now. And I just made that post. There you go. It's crazy, isn't so it? So now we got to blow up the YouTube channel. I don't know channel. why 30,000 people ever wanted to watch anything we had to do. And don't forget, anything you see. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Anything you see in these videos, we can, we, if you need it, we can send it we'll to you. Anything, even if it's Troy's Toolbox or whatever you want. We sell everything. Toolbox now. Come on. <laughs> we'll sell a metal Toolbox, value. we'll sell you a hat. We'll sell you, you whatever don't you want. Buy that hey, now. See, I didn't say that. That's mean. That's mean. <laughs> all right guys That's thanks everyone good. for watching